All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about a more general version of the chain rule. And just quickly, it says, suppose we have a u that's a function of the n variables x1 through x sub n. And each of these x sub i's, each one of these variables, is a differentiable function of, say, the variables t sub 1 through t sub m. It says then u is a function also of the t variables. And it says if you want to figure out the, der the partial derivative of u with respect to any one of the t sub i's, it says you have this corresponding formula to uh, figure out the partial derivative. So let's try to maybe, maybe make some sense of this one. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to find the derivative of z with respect to t. And notice what I have here. So z depends on x and y. So that is, z is a function of x and y. And then we also have, well, x is just a function of t. And y also just depends on the function t, or excuse me, on the variable t. So it's a function of t. Um, and probably the easiest thing in this case, so we want to find the derivative of z with respect to t. And we'll do this in a you know another example where it'll make maybe a little more sense why you would want to do this to keep things straight so it says z depends on x and z depends on y and it says each of those well x depends on t and y also depends on t and if you want to find the derivative of z with respect to t it says what you do is you basically go down each branch this first branch corresponds to finding the partial of z with respect to x. This last branch corresponds to finding the derivative of x with respect to t. And what we do is we multiply those two things together. So the partial of z with respect to x times the derivative of x with respect to t. And then we add on to that the other branch. So this other branch corresponds to the partial of z with respect to y and then the derivative of y with respect to t. So I'll take the partial of z with respect to y and then I'll multiply that by the derivative of y with respect to t. Okay, so again I'm using these functions up here. z equals x squared times y plus xy squared. So I'm going to do this down here a little bit. I'm going to fill in this formula because I know I'm going to run out of room here. So it says the derivative of z with respect to t. Okay, so maybe you want to write these functions down so you can refer back to them. Uh, maybe pause the video and write this formula down too as I'm going through this. So it says, okay, so it says the partial of z with respect to x. Let me squeeze it back in here. So that means I'm treating x as a variable, y is a constant, so I'll get 2xy plus y squared. And then it says I have to take the derivative of x with respect to t. Well, the, deri the derivative of x with respect to t would just simply be 4t cubed. And then it says I add on to that, now I have to take the partial of z with respect to y. Now I'm treating y as a variable and x as a constant. So it looks like I'll get x squared plus 2xy. And then when I take the derivative of y with respect to t, it says I'm simply going to get negative 3t squared. And there is now my, my derivative, my partial, my derivative of z with respect to t. So again, this first part is the partial of z with respect to x. This is the derivative of x with respect to t. This is the derivative, the partial of z with respect to y. And this is the derivative of y with respect to t. Okay, so let's see if we can't do at least one other one here. Where the, it's a little more complicated. So now I've got that z depends on x and y again. So again, z is a function of x and y. But now x and y in turn depend on many more things. x is actually a function of u, v, 
and w. And y is also a function of u, v, and w. Okay, so in this case, we could actually talk about the partial of z with respect to u, the partial of z with respect to v, or the partial of z with respect to w. And I'm just going to do one of these. I'll probably just pick out the partial of z with respect to u, um, and we'll calculate that one. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make my little tree diagram. So it says z depends on x, and z depends on y. But in turn, it says x depends on u, x depends on v, and x depends on w. Likewise, it says that y depends on, well, u, y depends on v, and y also depends on w. Okay. So if I want to find the partial derivative of z, in this case with respect to u, what I have to do is I have to find all branches that go down until eventually they run into a U. So I'm going to find this first branch that I've shaded red and then I'm going to find this other branch that I've shaded red. So again this first part is going to correspond to the partial derivative of Z with respect to X and then the second part is going to correspond to the partial of X with respect to U this next branch is going to be the partial of z with respect to y and then this other branch is going to be the partial of y with respect to u Okay, so what I have to do just like in the last case is I multiply the, the branch pieces together so it says I should get the partial of z with respect to x times the partial of x with respect to u and then I'll add on to that the partial of z with respect to y times the partial of y with respect to u. Okay, so again, you may want to jot these uh, these original functions down because um, those are the things I'm going to be taking the derivatives of just so it makes sense what I'm doing down here. You can kind of follow along a little bit better. So, um, I'll try to leave them up there at the top so you can squeeze them in there. So it says I have to take the partial of z with respect to x. So again, that means x is my variable. y is a constant. So I'll simply get, it looks like, 2x plus y cubed. And then I'll take the partial of x with respect to u. So now I'm treating u as a variable. Everything else is a constant. Well, my uv squared term, I'll just be left with v squared. Since w cubed is just a constant, that'll be all I'm left with and then it says I'll have to tack on the partial derivative of z with respect to y so now I'm treating x as a constant so the x squared would simply disappear and then it looks like the 3 would come out front and I would get 3x y squared and then I have to take the partial derivative of y with respect to u okay so here's y now I'm treating u as my variable again well the derivative of 1u is just 1 the v e to the w I'm just going to treat like a constant so the derivative of v e to the w would just disappear and I would be left with a times one okay and this would now be my derivative my partial derivative of z with respect to u so maybe um, in another video I'll do the other two as well um, but this is the basic idea make a tree diagram follow the branches down, multiply those corresponding branches, and then add to it the products of the other branches. Um, if you're a little shaky on partial derivatives, I've got a, a video out there involving derivative, you know, partial derivatives. Um, you may want to take a look at that. Um, but this is the basic idea you can use on these, so if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. I'll be happy to try to sort them out to you. Um, so I hope this helps and good luck.